Hello, my name is Shannon. I'm with ETSU's Office of eLearning, and I'm going to explain to you how to connect to the streaming classrooms. This guide will help you connect to the ETSU Cisco Ridge from a web browser and enable you to watch the presenter, content, and text chat from a live streaming class. Note, you can acquire your class conference ID and PIN number on the ITV Video Archives widget of your class's D2L site. You go to your class's D2L site, and right here it is, ITV Video Archives with Live Streaming widget. And here are the instructions that we're just about to follow. This link will give you a direct access to the very instructions that I'm reading right now. First, let's go to your favorite web browser. I've chosen Firefox. Firefox is a very reliable browser. We also use Google Chrome and Internet Explorer. We find that Firefox and Chrome are a little more stable, a little more secure than Internet Explorer. Now we're going to click on the link. Now we have two bridges, conference.etsu.edu, as you see in this link, but there's also meetings.etsu.edu. The instructions for both bridges are exactly the same. Be sure to check your D2L page because each class has its own unique login. We're going to click the link and that's going to take us to the Cisco Stream a Conference page. First thing we're going to do is type our sign in name. Make sure you use your full name as it appears on the role sheet. This is how the instructors are going to take role. And now the conference ID and PIN number, they're the ones we referenced in the D2L widget. Conference ID and PIN number. Instead of using these numbers, I'm going to use a special test number and feel free to type this in as we go along. It's 12345 and PIN number is 12345. This will give you access to a permanent conference that we leave running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for the express use of testing your connection. Next is streaming rate. We're going to use QuickTime because it's very stable. It's compatible with Mac and PC. Uh, no extra files are needed for the installation. There is also Windows Media Player. It requ requires a very small file to be installed real quickly. Do not change any of the advanced streaming options. And now we're going to stream this conference. Once we hit stream the conference, it's going to load up our class interface. This is where you'll see your class title. This box right here is the video box. You'll see the instructor, the classroom, uh, maybe a video will play in this box. This is the live video. This box, the content channel, is where you'll see the computer that the instructor is using. This will be the box where you will see the PowerPoint slides, the internet, and the whiteboard. The whiteboard is technology that allows the instructor to write on the board and it will show up in this box. To the left is a participant list. Not only is your name there, it's going to have the name of every participant that's also viewing the live stream. Important to note is this box at the bottom. This is the chat box. The chat box allows you to immediately offer feedback and ask questions of your instructor by just typing it in. You have to select this line. I know sometimes on some monitors it's hard to see the division between these two boxes so it's always going to be right here above the clear markup box these these buttons the markup buttons do nothing the instructor will be watching in the classroom for your text to pop up on a monitor in front of them this text is also visible by everyone that's in the participant list as well as anyone that's sitting at another site in the conference the instructor will verbally give you feedback they will speak directly to you from the video site and you can always respond in the chat box. These are the basics of getting connected to a live streaming video classroom. I hope it's been useful. If you have any trouble at all, refer to your D2L widget, the ITV Video Archives with Live Streaming widget. This is where you'll find a rehash of these very instructions right here and you'll be able to find contact information that will let you get the help you need. We recommend you use the number 7058. That'll call us directly here at the office, and we'll be able to help you with any problems you may have.